Thank you for tuning in to Trending with the Tribune. I'm your host, Kalise Steffens, and today we're going to talk with Nashville Mayor Megan Barry on the city's newest initiative plan, Transit for Nashville. Nashville, my name is Jerry Maynard, I'm here on behalf of the Tennessee Tribune, and we're, we're, we're with Trending with the Tribune. And it's my pleasure to have our Honorable Mayor, Mayor Megan Barry, who is not only a friend, but a tremendous leader for our city. And she's agreed to join us for a brief interview to talk about transit. How are you, Mayor? I am so well, Councilman. It's so good. good to see you. You too. I miss seeing you. Yeah, so I miss, I miss working with you. Yeah, it was me long too. I know, no lie, no lie. <laughs> now your hours are longer. Yeah, a little longer. Yeah. But, uh, it's going well? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Our new great thing that we've got to get moving for Nashville is That's transit. Exactly. That's right. Transit. So thank you for being here. Appreciate it. We're here to talk about transit. And Mayor, you and I both moved here over 20 years ago in Nashville, seeing a tremendous growth. And we see it grow without a new transit system. Right. But now is the time, as you declare, that we must have a new transit. Why is that? Well, you know, we needed one 15 years ago, 10 years ago, 5 years ago, but we absolutely have to move now. Uh, we have over 100 people who are coming to our region um, and you know growing here and it's just incredible we have to get people moving around and we know that in order for us to have uh, access and mobility and opportunity in our community for mm -hmm. everybody you have to have a transit system wow now most people think about a transit system they either think about a train mm -hmm. or a bus my understanding is your transit plan will include multiple things like sidewalks right. and other things. Would yeah, you describe that? You bet. It's multimodal. Mm -hmm. um, uh, we absolutely include sidewalks and, and bike lanes as part of that, but the, the backbone of any transit system is a great bus system. Mm -hmm. um, so we're going to have much more improved uh, bus modality around Nashville, but then we're also going to run light rail down our, our pikes and corridors. And, it's going to be a wonderful addition to a comprehensive system. Fantastic. Yeah. You know, traffic is so much. Mm -hmm. I mean, now you start at yeah. 2 o'clock in the afternoon. It used to be 3 or 4. Now it's 2. You're running traffic in the main streets, on the main corridors. Talk about how the new transit system will help those persons who are commuters, but also help those persons who do not want to drive a car. Sure. So, again, this is multimodal. So mm -hmm. it, it offers you an opportunity to get out of your car. Uh, if you want, but also it, it cares for cars as well. So there will be improvements to intersections, wow. um, improvements so that you can get through throughput faster. Uh, but the backbone is really getting people out of their cars and onto something else. Right. And uh, that's what we want. We want people to use transit. Now, I do know that Mayor Carl Dean would catch a bus from time to he time. He would, yes. <laughs> and, he I would know, and I was over at the event two weeks ago at Farmer's Market. Yeah. Tell me about your personal commitment and how you see this improving the quality of life and also making sure that we continue to grow. Sure. So, you know, I, I talked about it a second ago. This is really just about access and mobility and opportunity. And if you think about what Nashvilleians need, they need access and they need access to their jobs, they need access to better health care, they need access to education opportunities and transit provides that. But it also provides that mobility for people who may not have a car, right. um, who may be disabled or elderly. Uh, and so we're focused a lot on making sure that those folks can get around. And then ultimately it's also about opportunity, making sure that people have opportunity for jobs. Um, you know, I may live over here but want to work right. over there right. and I need to get there. So, right. uh, um, and we're really focused on making this a one seat transit system, which means if I get in on a stop, I don't have to go and change. I can get to where I need to go with one, um, one kind of seamless opportunity. It seems to me that we're the only big city that I've gone to that did not have light rail. Yep. Has that been your experience and is that also one of the considerations as far as competing with these other urban areas for conventions and events? If you want to talk about that a little Sure. Bit. I mean, this is definitely part of this plan includes getting people in and out from uh, down Murfreesboro Road connecting to the airport, which includes our tourists. But it also means getting people around Davidson County that live here. So, right. I mean, I think uh, having light rail is, is a critical component of a comprehensive transit system and uh, it doesn't preclude us from having new technology, it doesn't preclude mm -hmm. us from uh, the new uh, kind of autonomous vehicle components that may be coming, but it is a great backbone to have as part of a transit system. In order to get this transit, I know that there are some political things that have to yep. happen. Can you just give us briefly a kind of timeline that Metro Council has to work, sure. a referendum, and tell us how that all works so that we can get started? So we were really lucky to work with the, the delegation from Davidson County uh, to, to get the IMPROVE Act passed. And when Governor Haslam signed that, it gave us the opportunity to go to the Metro Council to ask them to put a referendum on the ballot, which we want to do in May, which will have to be 250 words or less and say, <laughs> hey, this is our the transit system and this is how we're going to pay for it. So, you know, the real part of this right now is about saying yes to transit and yes, I want to pay for it. 
I mean, there are so many details that we'll get mm -hmm. down into uh, once we pass the referendum. But if we don't have the funding mechanism, Jerry, right. it doesn't matter. Right, right. So our last question: If yes. somebody wants to get involved, or if somebody wants to learn more information, we have a brief interview now. But if they want mm -hmm. more information, where do we go? Where do you send them in order to find out more information about the transit? So there's an, a, a website out there called Tra um, Transit for Nashville, okay. and uh, we'd love for you to go out there, check it out. Uh, there's a petition drive as well that's out there. We'd love for folks to show that they are for transit and they want to pay for it, um, and uh, we'd love to get everybody involved. My name is Jerry Maynard, and we're here on behalf of Trending with the Tribune, and my dear friend, the Honorable Mayor Megan Berry, has been our guest, and we're so happy that we had an opportunity to talk about transit, because I know this is very important to you, and it's very important to us, too. It is. It's critical for our city. Thank, Thank you. you.